on Toast Kitchen with Chef Ramsey. On my audition for Opportunity Knocking. So please help me out. Hey everyone, it's Madeline D'Imperio here with Opportunity Knocking. Today we're in Woodstock, Ontario at the house of Kyle Hilderly. Kyle sent us an audition tape two weeks ago. His dream? To become a pro biker. Today we're bringing in DC representative Tony Wallace. Kyle will have 10 minutes to impress Tony with his moves and tricks. Let's go tell Kyle that Opportunity's knocking on his door. Hey Kyle. Two weeks ago, you sent us an audition tape. Today, we're giving you the opportunity of a lifetime. To do. We're bringing in Tony Wallace, DC representative, and you have 10 minutes to impress him on the skate park. What are you gonna do? Right on, I'm gonna pull out all my best tricks then, and hopefully I can impress him. Well, you know when you're doing this? In two hours. No way. Go get ready, we'll see you on the skate park. Alrighty. Hey everyone, not too long ago, Emma sent us an audition tape. Her dream is to become a famous model. Today we're bringing in famous photographer Mitch Power to judge whether or not Emma will be our next sunshine girl. Let's go tell Emma the news. Emma, a couple weeks ago you sent audition tape to Opportunity Knocking. Do you know why we're here today? I think so. I, I really want to be a model. You have no idea. Well, we've chosen you for the opportunity of a lifetime. We're bringing in photographer Mitch Power, and he's going to decide whether or not you're going to be our next sunshine girl. Oh my god, thank you so much, thank you. The catch, you have 15 minutes to prepare. 15 minutes? A hairstylist and makeup artist is waiting for you in the studio. Go that way, make a left. You have 15 minutes. The clock starts now. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'm Madeline D'Imperio here again with Opportunity Knocking. We're here at the Woodstock Skate and Bike Park watching Kyle Hilderly compete for the chance of a lifetime. If signed today, Kyle will win a $10,000 sponsorship by DC Shoes. Our representative is Tony Wallace. Let's see how Kyle will do. Hey, my name's Tony Wallace. Uh, I've been riding for uh, 13 years now. Um, won competitions in Ontario, um, a few in Alberta, and one in British Columbia. Um, back in Ontario now, riding for DC. Hearing about this new Kyle kid, um, meeting him down at the skate park today should be good. Excited to see what the kid's got, he wants to be on this team. And uh, hopefully he can make it and we'll see what he's got. Hey everyone, we're back with famous photographer Mitchell Power. Mitchell, what are some things you look for in a sunshine girl? Well aside from like, the physical assets, she needs to have a very nice personality, a very bubbly, energetic confidence, be able to uh, feel the camera and move without too much coaching. Hey viewers, it's been two hours since we ambushed Kyle. He's had lots of time to practice, so let's see how he does in the test. I'm here with Tony Wallace. Tony, how do you think Kyle's doing in this competition so far? Uh, he's doing really great. I uh, stepped it up with a bar spin and uh, crank flipped the uh, whole pizza and uh, should be really good. Looking forward to riding with him. And what are some things that uh, DC looks for in their athletes? Uh, progression and like fall, get hurt, but get back up, you know? We were over there trying those stairs, fell a hundred times and still gonna go more, go harder and that's what we like, so. What are you going to do next to impress the judges? Uh, I'm going to throw a few tricks I haven't thrown yet, and hopefully I'll land them. All right, well, good luck, and uh, we wish you the best. Hey 
Hey everyone, I'm here with Emma. It's moments before her photo shoot. Emma, what's going through your mind right now? Um, I'm just trying to mentally prepare right now. Uh, just try and think about what poses I'm gonna do, you know. I've got some signature looks that I'd really like to pull out. Now you've wanted to be a sunshine girl for a while, says your uh, bio. How have you prepared for this modeling moment? Um, I practice in front of the mirror all the time. Sometimes I have my eyes closed so that I just surprise myself, you know. But nine times out of ten, they, they all turn out. So Emma, you mentioned you do have some signature looks. Can you show us one of them? Yes, I'll show you my very special one. I call that one Blue Steel. Blue Steel, all right, Zoolander reference. All right, well, good luck, Emma. We hope you do very well. And opportunities knocking, let's just make sure you answer that opportunity. Thank you very much. Tony, how do you think Kyle did? Did he land the sponsorship? Uh, absolutely, with the uh, bar spin uh, out of the flyout, and uh, again with the crank flip over the uh, big pizza slice. Phenomenal trick, and uh, really hard, even though it doesn't look hard. Great, great trick. Congratulations on your sponsorship. How do you feel? Awesome. Today was all worth it. All the practice, all the training, blood, sweat, and tears. What's next for you in biking? Uh, sponsorship with DC and it's going to be awesome. Tony, was this a well-deserved win? Absolutely. I uh, killed it. So really impressed, really happy. Should be good times, good future. All right, Kyle, you've got a lot of practicing to do. Congratulations on your sponsorship. We look forward to seeing you on television. Thank you very much. So, Mitch, it's been a long day for Emma and for yourself. Looking at the pictures, I personally think she did a good job. What do you think? Do you think she cuts it for the next Sunshine Girl? She did well for an amateur, but like she has a lot of, a lot of space to improve on. and um, She has a lot of potential for the future, but she won't be moving on with this competition. Okay, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to bring her in here and give her the news. Emma, you can come on in now. Thank you for coming here today. You Thank did a very good job, but unfortunately, I have to tell you that um, we will not be choosing you as the next Sunshine Girl. We do encourage you to keep persevering your dream to become a model and opportunity knocked on your door, but it just wasn't your time. I'm very sorry, Emma. Do you have any thoughts? 